does that caregiver actually want to be a nurse? Here's, here's the caregiver. She currently works full time, has children at home, and husband that works. So they just carry on with a nice family life. And then, boom, you're diagnosed with head and neck cancer. And suddenly, it's all about hospital appointments, whether it's chemo, dietitians, radiotherapy, speech and language, oncologists, psychologist visits. There's also chemist visits. So suddenly, there's a raft of prescription orders that are coming in for the patient. They have to be picked up, returning any unused items that the patient doesn't use. Suddenly the patient has to have dental appointments. Having teeth removed, you suddenly have to become a nurse and manage that patient after they've come home. How that patient's feeling psychologically. They've suddenly now got to order all medical equipment, food for the peg if they're being fed through a peg. And you've got to order them during the day when you're probably at work all day. You're making space in the house for medical supplies. You get a massive amount of food arriving, but you also get huge amounts of syringes arriving or water arriving to be flushed through the peg. There's no thought about time for the caregiver to actually have some space away from all this. The joy of walking the dog has suddenly become an absolute nightmare because it's yet another job for the caregiver to do. They've suddenly got different types of food or modifying the texture of food for the patient. Again, if you're making you know, a Sunday lunch, great, we can all sit down and eat it, only now we've got to start liquidising it down, so it all puts extra pressure. Any problems with feeding overnight? Quite often a feeding peg can come undone overnight, causing the food to run into the bed, hence more washing. You've still got the children to look after, so you've still got to run them to school, take them to parties, get them to dance classes, football lessons, take them to their medical or dental appointments. You've got to take time out to buy a new uniform when it's the start of the term. Money issues. Suddenly the patient isn't working. Who looks after the mortgage? Who pays for the mortgage? Who deals with the mortgage company, insurance companies, utility bills? There's a completion of lots of DWP forms. But who helps you fill all them in? They're not one page, they're, they're huge booklets that you've got to fill in to try and get money. And whilst you're trying to get money to run your house, you've still got the kids wanting to go on school trips, school fees, they want to go on holidays. And how do they manage, you know, at school when they can't go on the trip because they can't, the parents can't afford it or they can't have the latest gear? Kids are expected to keep up with their friends and if they can't, it does have an effect on them.